All right. I'm going to drop off some stuff at this dude's house. I grabbed him another three. Grab three bikes. Three free bike frames. Like 10 or so wheels of varying sizes. And then a box, a uh, milk, long milk crate. One of the longer ones that was filled with miscellaneous parts. But then when I got home, I saw it didn't, it had some tools, a sandal, and some other stuff, and a few drawstring bags. So I messaged him and said, want me to bring it by in the morning? And he said, yes, please. I was going to grab the stuff I left because I left some tires and like three to five frames. I'm too lazy. Might grab something if it's there. That's the other thing. But I just went to the post office. What I originally was gonna do was gonna drop off the package, then go to his house on the way back because there's a post office like five blocks away from his house. But my backpack ended up being completely full. There's only a few inches in every direction. So I lucked out on that, but I didn't want to bring my IKEA bag just for his stuff, even though I could have. So I just went to this post office by my house that I usually end up filming when I go to it or from it. And I went home and I'm back out. I told him I'd be going back home, getting his stuff and going back out, just as an update. I didn't want to grab my bike trailer. I was gonna grab my cargo trailer because I had to dismant dismantle and squish my other one on Sunday. I got two free bikes on Sunday. One with my mom that might sell for 2,500 or around there. And then later in the day, I went and rode like 15 miles, something like that, to get another bike for myself to fix up eventually. It's a Trek 700 multi, whatever, see, uh, multi track or whatever it's called. It needs some work, but I'm gonna turn it into a hybrid leaning more towards a road bike i've been wanting a road bike and it's a mountain bike a vintage mountain bike and it's bigger than it's significantly bigger than my diamondback i could tell when i put it in the bike trailer i had some trouble with that i ended up putting both wheels on the left side of my uh, handlebars which was kind of awkward since I was riding the diamond back and it has the gear shifter and brakes on both so that wasn't fun so I was almost home I was like 10 miles give or take away from home on the way back and I ended up having to have my mom pick me up I wasn't feeling it. I actually had accident. Ironically, don't know why they started honking. Ironically, my phone accidentally called my dad when I was taking it out of my pocket to see what time it was and to see if my mom messaged me back from the last time I messaged her. And then right after he called me back and I said, no, I'm cool. 
I kid you not, like five minutes later, I ended up calling my mom because I was at the top of the hill. And then by the time I got to the middle of the hill, I was even to the bottom, because how long the hill is. I ended up feeling sick. I kind of wanted to throw up. My stomach started hurting. My nose was bothering me. It got all runny. It got really cold. My head started hurting and my throat got dry, which that's been happening on and off the last few weeks at nighttime. So I was like, whatever, I give up. So since I was like 10 to 15 minutes by car away from the house, I just gave up. Cause it was like eight something at that time. And I had originally left between 3.45 sometime between three and a little bit four or five i started getting ready at like 3 15 but i ended up going in and out of the house a bunch of times because i locked myself in the backyard and i kept forgetting stuff so there was that and then the dude said he'd be home at 5 30 and i told him i was close and then just so he knew and then when i was in the bike then he got back to me at like six and then it was a, another like 25 minutes from my location to his house then i had a kind of hard time getting the wheels off the bike because they rusted so there's that So, since I had to wait an extra half an hour, and then it took me another hour, it took longer. I may have gotten there a little sooner because I took a different route, but I ended up going too far, thinking the bike and walking path went all the way to a certain point. But it didn't, so I lost like 10 minutes because I went all the way down and I was just being a, behind a bunch of houses near the water awkwardly and then I turned around, it was only awkward because there was a guy sitting in the backyard watching the sunset <laughs> or getting ready for it to set, so there was that. But it didn't matter because I have the buffer knowing he wouldn't be home. And I wasn't too far from where I messaged him from. It just ended up being annoying because if he would have messaged me sooner with his address, I might have made it home. Potentially, might not have, but it would have been a little warmer. I might have had more energy and all those factors. But since I was so close, as I said, I just gave up, which I was glad because while I was waiting 